Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. Tonight we'll be opening up two more Hidden Fates tins, and we have the packs for Toxic WR. He donated these during my main channel's live stream where we were playing Monster Hunter World, right? And uh, so he gave these to me, so these are mine now. Thank you very much, Toxic. We'll see what we pull out of them. Set these to the side. Uh, we're all out of the fossil packs to open up for Sora. We still have the j uh, jungle packs for sale. Uh, you know, they're for $65 each, but they haven't really been selling off too quickly. Maybe we will have the price be $60 from now on. What do you guys think of that? $60 on the fossil, uh, jungle packs? So there's quite a few jungle packs left if anyone's interested. These are vintage packs from 20 years ago, basically. They're really cool. Uh, yeah, we'll set those over there. Uh, let me know if you're interested in those. And w I'm so tempted to open this. Would you guys have any interest in a box of these? The problem with these is they're going to be over $100 a pack. But I'm super tempted to open this. So let me know if you have any interest in the gym, first edition Gym Heroes booster box. I don't know, but I'll make sure I'll post in the Discord. Oh, I'm reading your comments. Uh, but yeah, I, this is so tempting to open, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to see about it. All right. Let's see where we go with this. Oh, I got some news for you. I shipped off a ton of PSA cards. So I think it was at least 25 cards that we shipped off. Everyone who was waiting to have their cards shipped off had them shipped off, except for actually AFK, because most of his cards he had not paid for the grading service yet. So his will go off in the next shipment. Uh, we sent off a uh, Charizard that had been waiting to go. Is Wick gone? Wick is gone. Wick has been shipped to the rightful owner. <laughs> Maybe we should have asked to buy Wick. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Yep. Charizard and Brixen and the Shadowless, Yellow Cheeks, Ghost Stamp, Pikachu, they're all off to PSA to be graded. We'll see how they grade later on. I'm excited. Uh, actually, I'm anticipating uh, a package from PSA arriving probably in the next few days, although the post office is pretty much shut down for Christmas now. Uh, I don't think they're picking up anymore. I don't think they're dropping off packages, so we'll find out about that. And... Let's get started. Uh, let's get started with tonight. What do you guys want to do first? You want to open up these packs? I'll take these hidden face packs and set them to the side. So these are a gift from w, uh, Toxic WR. He gave these to me, and uh, I'll go ahead and open them. Let's start with the Cosmic Eclipse. All right, I should mention also, this is what he was purchasing for me. He was purchasing these $23 uh, booster pack sets. You get four packs. You guys are welcome to purchase that in the middle of the live stream using the uh, Streamlabs link in the description. And of course, if you do pa uh, purchase one, be sure to message me on Discord, letting me know that you purchased them and where to ship them. You thought I was gone, but I'm here. How's it going, fan? All right, let's get started, guys. Hopefully we got something good in here. Thank you once again to Toxic for the donation. That was really nice of you. Let's just pull another thicky wicky. Well, uh, this the new Burning Shadows booster packs are from a new box, so we actually do have a, a chance to pull wick again. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll go online and purchase a, a wick so we can have a little wick card in the background all the time. Thick wick. We get a graded version of her. PSA 10 wick. <laughs> but we have a chance to pull her. Let's see what goes on here. I also got some mail, so we have some mail to open. Did you save the sleeve? Uh, oh, I didn't even think about that. No, I sent it off to him because I figured he'd want to enjoy the sleeve, actually. Enjoy it in his bathroom. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I think you have the most ra rare cards. Is there any specific card you're looking forward to getting? Yeah, all the Charizards, those are the most valuable ones. So any of the Charizards, because if I pull a Charizard, I get my money back on my pulls, which would be the main reason that you should always want one. Should always want to pull a Charizard. Oop, hold on, we don't want the energy card. So we have Duskstone, Raticate, Geodude, Litten, Froakie, Crabrawler, Oddish, Reverse Hollow, Laron. Somebody was asking for Laron. I don't remember who it was. Somebody was asking for Laron. Was it Laron or Agron? No, they were asking for Laron specifically. Now we have one. I don't know who that was, but if they're watching, there it is. Wick Laird Armor now. <laughs> I missed the Monster Hunter stream. What were you thinking? You can't be missing the Monster Hunter stream. That's the best stream. 
So we have Lalip, Rotom, Erica, Chinchow, Cosmog, Pancham, Drillbur, Tangela, nice, this Mimikyu is actually really nice looking, and non-holographic Kyogre. So wait, wait, wait a second, you don't belong in here. What's going on here with this pile? Oh no, have I mixed the piles up? Oh shoot, I think my piles got mixed up. Who did this? Did I do this? How far back does it go? These are all commons. Commons. I placed them in the wrong spot. This is rare. It goes here. What happened with that? How far back does it go? Okay, that's it. Okay, we fixed it. Never mind. Don't worry about it. It looked like my Pokemon card piles got mixed up. I wonder if my wife touched my Pokemon cards while I was asleep. So this is a common. And this is a nice little looking Mimikyu. Let's go ahead and put him in a sleeve. Your wife coming over and shuffling all your cards when you're not looking. I know, right? Next pack. Place this to the side. One, two, three, four. Fire energy. We got right on. Electric. Buffalant. Togedemaru. Sock. Mudbray. Oddish. Duskull. Reverse Hollow. Rhyhorn. And Ladian. Cold pack so far, everyone. Where's the hot packs? Another Burning Shadows. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We got Super Scoop. Plumeria. We love roasting Plumeria, but she's not a Reverse Hollow. Ry Rhyhorn, Rylu, Cutie Fly, Tynamo, Reverse Hollow, Gloom, and Tangela. Wait, Tangro, not Tangela. This is the evolution of Tangela. It's literally just a larger Tangela, right? Like, I'm not crazy, right? It ensnares prey by extending arms made of vines. Losing arms to predators does not trouble it. S prey? So what, like the Pokemon eat each other? I don't get it. How smart are Pokemon? So far, none of these packs have proven to be uh, very crazy at all. We've had pretty mediocre pulls. Let's see what the next pack holds for us. It could all turn around in one pack. All you need is one pack with a good pull. We have Giovanni's Exile. This is, uh, what is this? This is the um, Unbroken Bonds. Porygon 2, we got Bellsprout, Diglett, Poliwag, Rhyhorn, Growlithe, Reverse Hollow, Zubat, and oh, I did just get a good pull. Oh my god, we got the Reshiram Charizard. Damn, if only this had been the secret rare, that would have been nuts. Is that like a nick up there? That looks like it's already got a nick up in the corner. Can't tell. Damn. I was not expecting that to happen at all. Oh, he's going into a nice sleep because he's probably going to get graded. Reshiram Charizard. This is the card being used in the decks. And he's a... I don't know how valuable this one in particular is. I would bet this is like a $20, $25 card. That one's definitely going to get graded. Nice. So I got to say thanks again to Toxic for purchasing these packs for me. I actually got a decent pull from it. What the hell? We have Togedemaru, Great Catcher, Probo Pass, Sneasel, Sfeel, Aloan Meowth, Ralts, Passimian, Aloan Meowth again, and Holographic Lunala. Whoa, that's a cool looking card, actually. Sweet. And I love this Aloan Meowth, by the way. He's so like. I don't know. How would you describe that? He's like scheming or something. He's like, hmm, I wonder if I could steal money from someone. Maybe he's ready to start a religion. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> it's a sassy. Yeah, it's a bit of a sassy look, isn't it? Pokemon hates Meowth. What are you talking about? Okay, so those were the pulls from the uh, two sets. We actually pulled Reshiram Charizard. Let's see what Shrum Charizard is going for. I'm so curious. I want to see how much we got from that pull. Uh, the Mimikyu and the Laron aren't going to be valuable. I know somebody wanted Laron who watches the live stream. I don't remember who it was, but we've got him now. Oh, I left my I left my Xbox turned on. Oh, maybe I should turn this off. Turn off my Xbox real fast. Okay, it's off. My bad. Now, I'm looking it up right now. So that's the full art, and it is English, it's not Japanese. It's not the rainbow rare. 
Oh, damn. That's a really good pull, I think. So here's one for $100. And here's the next one after that is $130. Damn. So I'll send him off to get graded for sure. Hopefully he pulls better than a 9. But I think if you, even if he pulls a 9, I'm suspecting you still get money back. That's my suspicion. Sweet. Okay. So he's going off to PSA. I'm ready to open up my tins now. Let's see. So I guess I'll just get started. Maybe we'll have another short stream tonight. Sometimes you guys go wild and open a lot of cards and the stream lasts a long time. Tin number two. You guys excited for Christmas? Does anyone here think they're getting Pokemon cards for Christmas? Two hundred five says no. Oh, two hundred five! I sent your dark Charizard off. Okay, ten number two. It looked really good. It looked like it could pull a ten for sure, but we'll have to see. Jeff says yes. He will be getting Pokemon cards for Christmas. I'm getting a single card for Christmas. Oh, I see. Is that a fancy one? Yeah, we'll be getting some PSA cards back soon, I think, and we'll we'll learn, we'll start to learn just how tough PSA grading is. I've seen PSA grading returns. You don't always get a 10. You get lots of nines, and then occasionally you get a 10. So I think in a lot of cases you break even with the nines when it comes to cost when you go to sell them. Uh, and then when you when you pull a 10, you usually just turn profit. You actually make money when you pull a 10. 205 says, I've heard they're getting tougher. Oh, yikes. Don't say that. <laughs> All right. And also, we have these two Hidden Fates packs. These are also from Toxic. So those were part of the deal. We weren't opening those, were we? So we get an extra two packs here. You don't celebrate Christmas. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Shiny Charizard? Maybe. We got Reshiram Charizard. You never know. There's always a chance. It's what literally very Pokemon YouTuber has been saying about PSA. Did you did you mean to say every? Yeah, he, he did. They're getting tougher. They're like, hmm, more people sending cards in, huh? Time to uh, send out less tens. Oh, cross your fingers. I think I might have seen a shiny back there. Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone. Nice, shiny Gibble, and... Oh, it's a GX card. <laughs> you thought I was valuable, but it was me, Starmie GX. <laughs> Get out of here, Starmie GX. Got a billion of these. How about this Gibble, though? Ooh, he's looking super fresh. That is one minty-looking card. So this will definitely be graded. Did I order more penny sleeves? I can't remember. Next pack. Wow, that was a nice looking gibble, to be honest. That one looked really clean. The, the uh, edges of the card looked sweet. The uh, borders looked even. Centering, I mean. Pikachu, Magikarp, Coffee, Clefairy. Nice Geodude and Arbok. Exactly what I always wanted. <laughs> Next pack. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. Fire energy. It's a sign. It's going to be shiny Charizard. Jinx, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Reverse Hollow, Jolteon, and Pinsir GX. Oh, no, guys. is a bad omen. <laughs> we got the Starmie. We got the Pinsir. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Next pack. Gibble. We got Gibble, man. So really, Gibble would have been part of these uh, the sets of four, right? Toxic bought me two of the sets of four. Well, it would have been Gibble and Reshiram Charizard GX. Those would have been the best pulls. Uh oh don't look, don't look, don't look. Metapod, Sabrina Suggestion, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, oops, Charmander, Clefairy. <gasps> what did we pull? 
Cartana GX. Not my favorite card. That's okay. I don't think I've ever pulled Cartana before. Ooh. So this, you know, actually is part of completing my collection, if you think of it that way. Nice. Hmm. I would say that maybe the centering's off. Hmm. I think the top might be larger than the bottom. Interesting. Place them over here. Okay, so we pulled shiny Cartana. Let's see what happens next. What will happen next? Look at these beautiful cards we're piling up. We're piling up over here. One, two, three, four. I remember I limit the amount of cards I open every day because if I didn't, I'd probably go broke pretty fast. Metapod, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy. Nice, shiny Curlia and holographic Eevee. So we're pulling another shiny card. Beautiful. I think I have two of these now. I shall speak the Parmish... Parmish? Yeah, what? All right, last pack. Oh my god, shiny Charizard. Ah! Just freak out. I get that music playing. The lights in the background, like, do a little dance. Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Chansey, and Non-Holographic Golem. That seems about right. <laughs> all right take all these uh, commons and uncommons, place them over here. Sweet. So, out of six packs of Hidden Fates, we got a Shiny Curlia, Shiny Cartana, and Shiny Gibble. The six packs would cost about $36. Do you think we get our money back on these three cards? I'd say probably not if we sold them as rare, uh, raw cards. If we grade them, we will go in another 14 times 3, which is 30 plus 12, $42. So 42 plus 36 is going to be right at 60. So at 60 bucks, how much would these each have to sell for to make the money back and still turn a profit? Well, I mean, if this guy by himself sold for 60 bucks, that'd be nice. And then these two would just be profit. But let's say they all pull, let's say they all three of them pull nines. Ooh, then he's probably only worth 35 and these probably only worth 20 at best. So you would just, yeah, you'd pretty much be breaking even if any of them pulled, if they all pulled nines. Wait, Cartana actually has some value? Yeah, of course it does if you grade it. When you grade cards, there are people who collect the PSA cards to have a full completed set. You know what I mean? So there are people who do that. All right. Mail time. Are you guys ready for mail time? Where's the mail? Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. All right, I got three packages. I got a big package. Well, not a big package. I got a big bag. I'm going to start with the big bag. No, wait, this one says it's not for me. Oh, this is my wife's package. Oh, that's for her. Okay, I got <laughs> I got two other packages. I have no clue what's in these. I don't remember buying stuff. Here we go. Okay, there's a PSA card inside of there. Nice. I just purchased this. Damn, this guy shipped that so fast. Dude, this guy shipped this like immediately. So I liked this Psyduck so much that I went and I bought a, a PSA 10 version of him. See him? Question mark Psyduck. God, he's cute. He's so cute. <laughs> so anyways, this card, as you can see up here, is from the year 2000. That would make it 20 years old. This is, in fact, a vintage card. Yeah, this is a vintage card. That's the Psyduck. I, I put a few, a few of my uh, PSA cards for sale in the Discord, if anyone's interested in them. Decided, you know, I don't really need two. Uh of all of them, and so, uh, yeah, I listed them. 
Silly Psyduck. We don't have Emma, so cold packs. What are you talking about cold packs? We pulled a Charizard Restaurant. That's not cold at all. Now sell it for twice the price. Actual big brain. What? <laughs> God. Love it. Okay. He's going over on my stack of PSA cards. Well, we got one more tin left. And uh, that might be the end of the stream. Let's go ahead and get started. Where is Emma? Emma was asking me, like, how do I buy a fancy Gyarados and Magikarp? I'm like, well, there's the Neo set Gyarados Magikarp if you want to go broke. <laughs> if you want to go broke, if you want to be poor, all you got to do is spend $500 on a card. You run out of money real fast. And let's go ahead and grab this guy, one of these sleeves. How many of these right shoes do you think I have at this point? Like 50 of them? Toss this over here. Okay. Destroy a Starmie, please. A lot of cards you can buy if you want to be poor. I know, right? <laughs> well, you know, if you buy a card that's been PSA graded, at least you can feel pretty confident that you can resell the card. That's the, that's the silver lining, right? So buying PSA cards is expensive, but it's also fairly safe as long as you know how to resell the card. All right, four more packs of hit face. I know this is what you guys are here for. Hate them, no spamming shred requests. Oh yeah, people keep asking for the shred. Just shred all your cards. Please, please, please just shred all your cards. We got Brock's Grit, Misty, Cerulean City, Jim, Chansey, Voltorb. Pull that Charizard or Umbreon. I know, right? I've never pulled the Umbreon before, I would love to. Damn, we did pull a shiny Silverly GX. I've never pulled this card before. Wow. Please shred it. Shred the Silverly. Next pack. Wow, already off to a good start. We got three more packs. Wow, we're having some decent luck on these tins, I feel. Giovanni, Koga, Clefairy. Star you, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, nice shiny Kartana, and Moltres, Aptos, Articuno. What is this? Oh, low battery. My phone's already almost dead. Yeah, it's definitely feeling like a. Uh, it's going to be a short stream tonight. All right, we're going to open up. There, I'm sorry, we're going to put this Kartana into a pack as well. We got Kartana. We got Silverly. Let's try the next pack this to the side Pokemon do 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 Jigglypuff Eevee a Caterpie in Paris oh sweet we got the reverse hollow water energy another card we didn't have what what are all these cards man I might buy that silverly there's a very good chance I'm gonna send them off to be graded there's a very good chance yep one, two, three, four. My baby don't mess around. No. Brock's Peter City Gym. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Misty's Determination. Cubone. Eevee. Clefairy. Sometimes I'm more awake when I do these streams. Did you notice that? Sometimes I'm real sleepy. Sometimes I'm more awake. Pokemon Center. Lady. Damn. Zapdos. All right. That is my two tins. What do you guys think? We wrap up the stream here. Go home, eat our gingerbread cookie houses. Toss this over here. All right, so for the second tin, and on a high note, on the second tin, we got Silverly, Water Energy Reverse Hollow, Cartana, Shiny Cartana, and Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. Hey, I have a new trick. If you say, give me the good, good card, Ooga Booga, and then spin the pack around twice, you'll get a good, what? The candy on my gingerbread house is stale, though. 
let's look over some of our gradable cards. Silvery. Should we grade the... I'm tempted to grade, actually, these energy cards. I don't know. Cartana, Moltres, Aptos, Articuno, Curlia, Gibble, Cartana. Reshiram, Charizard. That guy's being sent right off. When is that in the corner, though? It really does look like it was nicked up in the corner. So unfortunate. I suspect if it's nicked, it's going to pull a nine. Let's have a closer look. Damn it! Why can't the cards just come out mint? <laughs> nah, that's not gem mint. <laughs> it looks like a flaw. That's got to be a flaw. That's going to be a nine. You watch. It's going to be a nine. You just watch. So what do we have? We've got Charizard. we got Silverly. These cards are going to be graded for sure. Cartana, we just pulled. Rayquaza. We got Lycanroc. We got Glaceon the other night. Look at all these nice cards, man. Love the Mimikyu. I know. I'm holding on to the Mimikyu. Yeah. I want to tell you guys a story about this card right here. See this card, the Darkrai? The Darkrai is from the XY series, and the raw version of the card isn't that hard to obtain, but there was only, like, one guy who sent them off for PSA 10 grading, and he ended up taking the PSA 10 graded Darkrai, these guys, and he, he sold them for $100 each, and he actually sold a few of them. It was, I was like, what? You actually sold some? It was because nobody else was offering the card. So I was like, wow. So... PSA grading is a really big interest of mine right now. Uh, I really would like to see more and more of my cards graded rather than selling them raw. If you ever retire way down the road from Pokemon cards, you can go out with a bang by throwing everything into a bonfire. Nah, that won't happen. Doesn't feel like a Monday. I made $15 Christmas pizza. What? It's Tuesday for me. Hi, Game Economist. Do you know where I can buy Japanese cards in the States? I don't want to get them from eBay because they might be weighted. Uh, well, actually, uh, so for these packs, the Japanese vintage packs, I guess they only have holographic uh, rare cards in them. There is no non-holo card, so you don't have to worry about them being weighted. I was wrong about that. I didn't know about that. Yeah, so apparently they only have holographic cards in them. Man, I need that. Um, I wonder where those are. I wonder if that could be the other thing here. Oh, okay, I'm going to open up my other piece of mail. I had one other piece of mail. I'm curious. I'm going to open up the other piece of mail. Let's just find out what's in here. Ah, darn, darn. It wasn't what I was hoping it was. But let's see what it is. I got a, a, set, a letter. It's from Emma and Aria. I just wanted to say that I'm so grateful to have found your channel in a community where I feel I belong. Thank you so much for being a part of my life. Aria and I pulled this card, and we wanted to wanted you to have it. Enjoy. Aww. What? What a nice letter. I should have opened this one first. I didn't even realize. I opened the other one first, the Psyduck. <laughs> Thank you very much, Emma and Aria. Oh, was Emma even here? Oh, she'll be able to watch it on the playback, I'm sure. Crack that open. Let's see what they sent. And looky here. <laughs> Yeah, she mentioned that uh, they pulled this card, but uh, she didn't necessarily need it. And she's like, would you like it? And I was like, oh, of course I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emma. Let's get a closer look at the card, shall we? Shiny Ho-Oh, another card I've never pulled. There's so many Hidden Fates cards, man. There's a, quite a lot out there. Place this back over here. Let's take a closer look at the card. Let's examine it. Wow. That is really nice of them, to be honest. That is very nice of them. Okay, I feel the centering might be slightly off. No, maybe my fingers had the card off slightly. Centering is actually looking pretty good. 
Wow, it's a cool looking bird, man. Be a person and be real. No, I'm I'm a real boy. Wait, what is he talking about? <laughs> That's a genius idea to use pieces of another card to see if centering is correct. Well, and the first thing I did was I actually measured the centering on the other pieces of cards, and then I cut them in half. Yeah, I would have done that earlier. But look at all of these GXs. What? Oh, wait, this dark right doesn't belong in here. I gotta start collecting again. You have inspired me. You've I've inspired you. I'm glad to hear that, man. Wait, this pincer doesn't belong in here either. Oh, is this it? I'm just putting all my GXs over here. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I got some GXs to put into this pile then. That's my GX pile then. What did we pull today? Articuno, Pincer, and Starmie. You guys can get your booties over there. Welp. Uh, I don't think anyone else is interested in pulling cars tonight, so I think we will wrap up here. And we'll probably pick up tomorrow with two more two more tins. What do you guys think? Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Should I should I even host it tomorrow? Or should I just uh, maybe go to sleep early so Santa Claus shows up, right? So low in nine tails and Gardevoir. They're such cool looking cards, man. Pop this over here. What does GX stand for again? Giant circuitry. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something they added. <laughs> it's like your best move or something like that on the card. It's like a card you can use one move on and then you gotta stop using that move. But yeah, I think we'll go ahead and pop out of here. I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.